the most awaited motor show event in Kenya makes a comeback. This is after a four-year hiatus. The Kenya Motor Industry Association KMI in conjunction with NCBA Bank pulled a good one for three days at the Sarat Center, Nairobi, Kenya, attracting 20 car dealerships and auxiliary brands and a football of over 10,000 participants. NCBA KMI Motor Show 2023 has earned its reputation as a prestigious event that highlights the very best of the automotive industry in Kenya. As expected, latest and auxiliary models that offer the modern technology displays covered the entire exhibition space and the parking lot. This year's theme is Cleaner Environment Moving Forward, where exhibitors showcased the variety of experiences through the endless development of automotive technology especially the introduction of the new way of traveling in the new era to everyone. More importantly, transport is recorded to contribute about 8.5% of Kenya's GDP. This is according to Kenya Bureau of Statistics, therefore transport is an important part of the country. For the event stakeholders, this motor show demonstrates the joint commitment to support the growth and development of the automotive industry in Kenya by providing asset finance solutions. We are also looking at new technology and uh, you know that we just closed the Africa, the, the Africa Climate Summit and uh, you saw the president riding himself in, uh, in, in an, uh, an electric vehicle all the way from State House to KICC. We would like to position Kenya as the leader in electric vehicles and electric motorbikes. Thank you, my name is John Gashora. I'm the Group Managing Director for NCBA. We're here at the NCBA KMI Motor Show 2023, where we have over 40 exhibitors uh, here to show us the latest innovations in the auto and motor, motor industry. Indeed, what you find here, you find not just vehicles, you find construction equipment, uh, you find uh, repairs, you find the new technologies that's being showcased, so there's a lot to see. Um, NCB has been indeed a member of uh, KMI, one of the few banks that has been a member. The reason for that is that NCB is the biggest asset financier in the country. Uh, we finance about 32% of the vehicles and equipment that you see in this country. And for that reason, it's our interest to work closely uh, with the dealers and other practitioners in the industry to continue growing, growing this business. More importantly, uh, transport contributes about 8.5% of our GDP. Therefore, it's indeed a very important part of the country's development and we are proud to be associated. In the fast-paced world of automotive innovation, this motor show emerges as more than just a gathering of sleek cars and cutting-edge vehicles. It is a celebration of technology, innovation and the lifestyle that comes with it. Hence, attending this automotive extravaganza isn't just about admiring the statement exteriors, exquisite interiors and powerful engines. It's about immersing yourself in a world of possibilities that transcend the realm of automobiles. Hi, Teams Wheels and Thrills. Welcome to CFAO Motors. I am Abogo Keda, Fleet Manager at CFAO, Kariboni. As you can see in front of us, we have Alan Kusa 300. What's the 300? Most of us, you know, Lancusa has a history of more than 70 years. We came all there from the 80s, the 70 series, 200 series, the 200 that was faced out and replaced by the 300. It is a system of rebirth from one point to another. And for the 300 series that we have like one before us, this car is a 3.3 litre engine, twin turbo diesel. Some people always ask, why is it that uh, the 200 was a 4.5 and the 300 is a 3.3? With the new technologies in the manufacturer's aspect, things have changed. The manufacturer has become more creative, whereby the thermal efficiency of the engine, the engine might be less, but it emits a lot of force and power. Like the power for this car is 227. And when you check on the torque, the car will give you 700 Newton meters on a 600 RPM. So the car will give you both power 
and both talk. So the car can do everything better than what the true handed want to do. So we can go through the car and have a look on what the car has. Then one thing about it is that um, depending on, because of the two turbos, the combustion system is of a higher octane, whereby there's no loss of fuel that comes into the combustion chamber. As you can see, the engine looks could be quite big. Most of them are really quite covered. And um, one of the key aspects of this engine is that um, is a total, the head is made of an aluminium. And it's a car that can also help you for business. You can use it for luxury and for family. You have a family of seven, the car will give you whatever you need. You want the car for class, it's a car for class. So it's a car that's both for class and for family. Now, when you come to the rear, the rear door for this car is powered. If I just press on this one, the rear door just opens automatically. You don't need to pull it up. It's a power engine. Now, when you come at the back, now this one is the back for the car. We have the toner cover. I'll remove it out. So when you check over this aspect, you have two centers over here. This one is for the right seat and for the left seat. When I press over here, you can see the seat is coming out. So this seat, they are electrically controlled. You don't need to move them manually. So when I press over here, the seat will come out. That one to make the six-seater. Once it comes out, you'll just need to hold over here and you move out the headrest. Remember one thing, all the seats inside the vehicle, they have a three-point seat belt. We don't have any seat that uses the lap belt. When I move on the other side, so when the car is on a full capacity, you are now carrying seven passengers inside, all the seats will be out. Now, you'll only have a small luggage space because of that. And then you'll ask me, where are the toolbox for the car? You have your punch over here. You have your toolkit is over here. This way you have the toolkit for the vehicle. In case you want to, to access the wheel spanner for the vehicle, the toolkit is here. It's totally secured. On this other side, you have your life savers. They are kept on one side because of the size, only one will be kept in, so the less will be out. And that, this one now is what we call a tonier cover. In case you are not carrying passengers at the back and you have things inside, the tonier cover helps you to cover the back. This one only happens if you are not using the back seat. If you're using the back seat, this one cannot be inside the vehicle because of the space issues. And that's why you have it over here. And then as you can see, sometimes you might be having something, you want to charge your phone. You have here another 100 watts PowerPoint. You can connect here either your laptop, you want to do your music, you want to do your lighting. You have a port over here. And then for the rear passengers, you might ask me, how are they enjoying? They have a charging port over here. It's a, a Type-C charging port on both sides of the vehicle. So even if you have people at the back, they can charge their Type-C. They have a Type-C charger inside the vehicle. This one becomes like part of the vehicle as is. So as I just wrap up, the vehicle is a 3.3 liter twin turbo engine. Yeah, the vehicle is a 3.3 liter twin turbo engine, but we have two versions of the vehicle. We have a petrol and a diesel. The petrol is a 3.5, still a twin turbo, but 3.5. But the diesel now is a 3.3. And then on the vehicle levels, we have a v GXR, which is the basic version. We have a VXR, which is this one, and then we have a GR Sport. What GR Sport now is a customized vehicle, whereby it's a sport version of the three of them. And the three vehicles are on a different aspect. So we have three variants of the 300 series, from the petrol to the, to the diesel. For us to lock it down, as I showed you, it's electric. You just press here once, and then the door will come down. And there you have your new Land Cruiser VXR 3.3 litre diesel. Among the cars that were displayed at the KMI NCBA Motor Show was the BMW X7. The BMW X7 is a luxury full-size SUV that offers a combination of comfort, performance, and advanced technology. It is the largest SUV in BMW's lineup 
and serves as the brand's flagship SUV positioned above the X5 and the X6. Its combination of opulence, performance and versatility has made it a popular choice in the luxury SUV market. This car is known for its extensive list of luxury features and options like premium leather upholstery, heated and ventilated seats, advanced infotainment systems, panoramic sunroofs and more. Let's find out more in this thorough review by Henry. I'm Henry Nyaga from Hinchcape. I'm on the BMW dealership side. Ah, well, I grew up loving cars from my young age because my father used to love cars. And then we grew into that. And then my love for motorsport also. I've been uh, in the rally, the East African Classic Rally, twice as a service crew. And I've competed in the Rhino Charge for over 11 years. So my love for cars goes that deep. If we start with the history of the BMW X7, it started in 2019 and now the first version of it ran all the way up to 2023. Uh, now 2023 is when we've introduced the LCI, that's a facelift, that's a second generation X7, which we launched on Friday here at the Motor Show. So that is what we're having at the moment now. One of the main features you'll notice is the face. The face is a bit different from the previous one because on this new one, you have split headlights. So now one of the, again, features of this car is the doors. They have soft closed doors. These ones you don't need to bang. So once you open the door, all you have to do is just put it there. Once it touches, the door locks itself. So you, as long as it touches, you don't have to bang the door. Mm -hmm. So maybe what I can do, I can lift the car now up so that you can see and then lower it so that I can see. Yeah, same. That, uh, now we are lowering the car. That's the lowest it can go and now I lift the car up to the highest point. So you can see the car is going up. Off-road it gives you now the option of either gravel, sand, rocks, snow, depending on where you are. Looking. You can uh, you can choose your profile and then add it. Uh, you just choose your profile for the person who's sitting, and then you just uh, put that setting and put it in your name. And now all the info you see, you can see all the apps from here. Light vehicle, the interior lighting, you can change the color of the lights, the daytime running lights, the, the interior lights. So with the interior light what you do, it's called ambient lighting. You can change the colors. Maybe you can do maybe a blue. So all the colors, the ambient lighting changes in the car. And then up here we have the Sky Lounge. We call it the Sky Lounge. Why we call it the Sky Lounge? You see the small dots on the sunroof. They light according to the color of the ambient lighting you put. Again, you have the AC here in front. These are the AC knobs. And the X7 has uh, the AC for the front people, the AC for the back people, and the AC for the people at the back there on the third row seat which you're going to look at. Truly. The BMW X7 is designed to cater to those that desire ample space, advanced technology, and a premium driving experience. Besides, the BMW has refined mobility on two wheels, adding to the range of riding experiences and styles there is. Let's have a look at one of the classic and iconic motorcycles during this year's motor show. Uh, BMW has a very vibrant community. To welcome the bikers to come and visit our shop. That's one Africa Place Westlands. We got some very crazy offers on the 850GS and the 750GS. So they should come in before the stocks are out. Uh, aspiring riders should aspire to drive BMW because of the technology. They have the best technology in terms of motorbikes. After sales services, we are the best. 
We give you the five years warranty. We also give you a thousand kilometers free service. We have a workshop, we have a technician, and our services are very good. A turnaround time of maybe two hours for the normal service. This bike can give you over 200 kilometers per hour. That's the maximum speed, over 200 kilometers per hour, maximum speed. Uh, we have this, uh, this is a triple black. We, we also have a 1250 trophy model. We also have an 850 GS. We also have a 750 GS and a 900 XR. Besides indulging Matter's wheels, there was a fun space for the young and youthful. Hello, my name is Tila Kamal Sangani. I'm from Oshwal and I'm from Nairobi. Um, the, some of the cars I've seen here today is um, a Mercedes, um, this Land Cruiser behind me. And this is my favorite car because it has a front camera as you can see. So if anyone does something to the car, you know. So, and then the second part is it has um, back screen TVs for entertainment purposes for children. And um, it, it even has a back camera and parking sensors. I know a lot about cars because um, since I was born, I've been always passionate about my cars and I love cars a lot. It's good, it's decorated with good looking cars, shiny ones in perspective, and um, that's all. My name is Angela Otieno. I'm here in my capacity as an enthusiast for motor vehicles. I've been previously working for an agency that deals with motor vehicles. So I was here to just see like the various types of vehicles. In particular, I've fallen in love with the Subaru Forester, and it's my dream car. So I came to see my dream car. I've had the opportunity to sit and just experience the car. I was here on Friday, and um, I saw the car that I wanted to see. So I'm back today, I came with my friends. I was just showing them around based on my experience on Friday. So I'm here for the last day to just make sure that I experience what I wanted to experience. The Motor Show offered a glimpse into the future of transportation. Uh, my name is uh, Tatete Macharia. Uh, it's quite a privilege to be here. It's my first time in fact. Eh? Um, it's good to have this show. I've had it has always been happening and I've been looking forward to it. But uh, when, I, when I came here in town, it was not there, but now I've had the show is back. So we were really excited to come to this show today, me and my family. I have two kids, they are really excited to be here. Uh, we all love cars, especially my boy. He has had a thrill today and I hope the show to continue. And uh, we'd like to see more of this, especially more on other brands. Eh? Uh, even the used car people, if they can bring their, um, you know, whatever they have in the market, so we can see some different models of cars, be such a uh, joy. Well, riding and driving only get better with time, isn't it? Stick around for more car reviews during this event, even as we spin the wheels on other thrilling motor events near you.